Carolyn at Pentland. Well, the sun is shining today and the weather's not been too bad in between the showers. We're still selling lots and lots of colour. Um, I know the bedding season's coming towards an end, but if people either haven't planted anything or if they planted stuff and gone on holiday, come back and it's died, then they're still looking for more. So it's worth having plenty of colour in your garden centre, whether it's perennials like we have here or the planted containers and the bedding. So starting off at the front there, we have a lovely armeria in flower. Lots of perennials. Um, in two litre pots, we've got lycanthemum, we've got rebecchia, heleniums, lovely delphiniums, uh, astilbes, veronica, a really nice selection, pretty much all in flower now. So that's what we're kind of pushing at the moment. In front of that, we have our dianthus, peace party, and pink kisses in a one litre pot. And then lots of dahlias. They really come into their own at this time of year. All these gorgeous dark leaf ones are temptation. So you've got the super orange, we've got some in planted containers, some in, um, what size pots are they? Two, two litre pots, dark leaves and beautifully colour coordinated flowers. The orange is just amazing and I like this lilac as well. So different ways of doing dahlias. Then we move on to lavenders, lavenders, lavenders. It's that time of year when they're all in flower and they are absolutely gorgeous. We've got head coats in various sizes, 10 and a half, 1 litres, 2 litres, and planted up into various sizes of, of containers. Um, all colour coordinated so they, they match the, the, the colour of the plant in them. Um, our giant summer, which is all the French lavender, all the sweetest ones here, this is the most amazing variety. We saw these um, in Holland a few years ago and we now grow them here on the nursery. Big, beefy plants, loads and loads of flowers out, loads of buds still to come. And they come in different colours, as you can see, the pinks, the purples. I really like this uh, white. But again, fantastic um, plants. Uh, dark green and healthy and lots and lots of buds to come. So we planted them into various containers. So we've got, oh, there's a bee in that one. There's bees in all of them, actually. <laughs> there's, that one's a purple purple pot with whoa, oh, bees everywhere. <laughs> um, purple uh, lavender in them. And then we've got other little pots, like um, one pink one in a, a little barrel type pot. So there's lots of ways to do the lavender. Um, mass plant it or mass display it in your garden centres. That's what we're doing and pretty much everybody's going out with a lavender in their trolley. So I think there's special deals on lavenders and dahlias as well. But that definitely is the plant of the moment. So moving on to the bedding, we've still got uh, Queen of Hearts, which is a lovely little heart patterned uh, petunia. And lots of planted containers. Oh, grand Daisy in a big pot. Lots and lots of planted containers, all looking really nice and fresh. We, you know, we crop everything so that we've always got new things coming along. So you can see everything is um, uh, fresh, flowering, looking great. There's containers, there's hanging baskets, there's troughs. There's all sorts of things, all colour coordinated by the girls that plant them up. And they do a great job. And I, I can't even think how many planted containers we've done this year, but it's thousands and thousands. Some troughs as well here of mixed calibre colours and I think that's Trixie's at the front in a one litre pot. You know, if people come back from holiday and they just want to stick a few things in a, in a pot, they're not going to use pack bedding there, they're just going to want something instant. So a little Trixie in a one litre pot is perfect. There's Trixie's in, planted up in bigger pots as well, the large hanging ones and the little 1.8s as well. At the back here, Coleus, which I think is, look at the size of that, that's a one litre pot. I've got one of these in my house just because I like it such a, a lot as a foliage plant. So they go indoors or outdoors. Uh, verbena, mixed colours of verbena, um, some of the one litre petunias left, um, some platycodons we have in one litre pots in white, pink and blue. And we planted some up into colour coordinated troughs as well. That's such a popular view plant, it really is. Uh, at the front there we have double callies and single callies. Still plenty non-stops. The non-stops, as the name suggests, go on and on and on and just keep flowering. One of the best things. Uh, really nice selection still of our geraniums. Again, nice, fresh, young plants as well. Goras, the lovely butterfly flowers, um, still looking nice. And New Guineas. And again, New Guineas are the same as the non-stops. They just get better and better. Look at that for a plant. Absolutely huge, full of flower and looking superb. And now it's definitely warm enough to plant them outside. Uh, the beacon 
uh, in patients, the ones that are uh, mildew resistant, we've got them in ten and a half, the little carry packs with six of those in them, and little planted um, containers as well. So Lozi at the front, it's a kind of love or hate thing, but we sell quite a lot of them, so clearly people do like them. Isotoma, salvia, salvia's at the back here, nice blue, dark blue salvia with the tall spires, and finishing off with sunflowers looking really nice. This is a lovely one that just um, is a big flower and then more flowers come from underneath it. When that's finished you can cut that off and then more come. So you can see there's lots of colour. We're still selling lots and I'm sure if you fill your garden centres with plenty of things to flower people will still be tempted to plant. So get your orders in quickly.